The next skills practice that we're going to talk about is about layer essentials or kind of the basics of getting started using layers. Um, I promise that these skills practice will become more in depth and they'll cover more than that's covered in the lecture for chapters 9, um, not 10 because that doesn't have skills practice, but moving on starting with chapter 9 there will be a lot of activities that you can practice. These activities are the same exact activities that are covered in the lecture and so if you've watched the lecture and you've taken notes and you've participated then these are probably going to be duplicate for you. But you're still welcome to do them. You're still welcome to post your images or screenshots of your images that you're working on. Um, I think it really shows that you're participating in the class and also you can submit that work for extra credit. Specifically you can apply the extra credit towards your exams. At a certain point I'm going to stop repeating this in every skills practice intro. Um, but when you submit your exam, I know people get kind of um, apprehensive about the exams. They're kind of scary. You only get one attempt. They're timed. People don't take tests well, that kind of thing. Um, you can earn one, uh, one point extra credit for every skills, practice, chapter, or lecture topic that you participate in. And so there are, I don't know, six or seven different things I'm going to um, demonstrate here. You don't get one point for each one. You get one point for participating in activity 8.2. And so for module 3, we cover chapter 7, 8, 9, 10 doesn't have any, and 11. So you could, you could in theory, earn four points onto your exam. And that's not 4%, it's four points. The exams are usually worth about 30 points. And so you could earn four of the points back that you may have missed on the exam, which is a significant percent. Four out of 30 is more than 10%. Three would be 10%. And so um, my only stipulation on that is that I'm not going to track you down and figure out which skills practice you have participated in. Uh, when you submit your exam on the comments on the right hand side, you can say, can you please uh, apply extra credit to this activity? I actively participated in the chapter 7, the chapter 9, and the chapter 11 skills practice activities, and I think that I deserve one point for each activity. Now, active participation doesn't mean that you have to do all seven items, um, but it does mean that you have to be active. You have to ask questions, you have to show that you're doing the work, and I would say that you need to participate in at least half of the activities. With that being said, students who do all the activities, um, whether they post them or not, are the ones who are going to be the most successful. And so when you get to the exam, it shouldn't be that difficult because you've already done all these activities. And the skills practice are a good way to point out the key concepts from the chapter that may be hard to differentiate if you're reading the book um, page by page. There's lots of stuff covered in the book. These skills practice are going to kind of identify what's important of those skills that were covered.